Welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial will walk you through how to set up email accounts on your hosting package. So from the Hacksters website, we're going to click the control panel link under hosting clients. For more information on how to log in to cPanel, make sure you check out how to log in to cPanel tutorial underneath the hosting clients FAQ section. So I'm going to log in. Once logged in, we're going to click on the mail icon. From the mail icon, we're going to click Add, Remove, and Manage Accounts. So say I wanted to create an account for Mike. So I'm going to go Add Account. I'm going to type in, type in the email address I want to do. So I want his to be Mike at your hacker. Create a default password, which I'm going to make Change Me. And then Quota. If you don't want to set a quota, just leave it blank. But if you want to set an email quota, which I probably would recommend, I usually set it at about 100 megabytes. That should be plenty enough space for Mike's email account. Now go ahead and click Create. Then cPanel will tell you that it created the account for Mike. Now go ahead and go back. Now you'll see Mike's actually got an email account. Now if Mike wanted to automatically configure his Outlook, just click on Configure Outlook and then select accordingly whether you want IMAP or POP3 depending if you just have Outlook or Outlook Express now what's the difference between IMAP and POP3 IMAP leaves the emails on the server so whether you connect it through Outlook on your computer or through webmail the emails that you download to your computer stay on the internet now if you choose POP3, when your Outlook connects to the mail server, it will download all emails off of the web server onto your local machine. So if you're remote and you try to access webmail and your machine's already downloaded all the emails, there won't be any on the web server. So you'll have to play around with which setting is probably going to work best for you, IMAP or POP3. If you have any more questions about that, please feel free to give us a call and we can help you walk through that. So let's go ahead and go back. So say I want to cha change Mike's password. Again, I can just click password, type in a new password, and Mike's good to go. So I'm going to go back again. And that's going to end our tutorial on how to add email accounts using cPanel. Thank you.